Hello, hello everybody. This is Tony, CEO, founder of Toronto Luxury Car Rental. Let's make another video for my YouTube channel. Uh, this video I'm gonna talk about Turbo. And I'm gonna talk about, this is the worst uh, Turo customer um, as of the as of the date as of right now the worst render I ever had so far okay and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I said that and what happened today just so you guys can know what you got to deal with being a car world business okay uh, I like to be very honest and transparent on my channel I like to show you guys you know the pros and cons day day operation what I deal with every day and uh, I had a very bad experience today with a with a customer and believe it or not it was actually a repeat customer it for me a lot. Um, I had a very bad experience and I'm going to kind of share with you guys what happened and, and what I'm going to do going forward, okay? So basically, as you can see, uh, this right here is my Chevy Camaro convertible. As you can see, I'm actually parked on the side of the street because uh, I had to come and recover my vehicle from the customer because he didn't return it. They make matters worse, the car got shot up. So as you can see, there's a bullet hole right here. Um, there's also another bullet hole looks like right here and also right here so three bullet holes the car got shot up uh he claimed that he was at the wrong place at the wrong time but i'm not buying it i don't believe it uh also like i said i had to come and recover the vehicle because he didn't want to return it talking about he didn't have a ride home uh to recover the vehicle uh also he was speeding in the vehicle uh this is a very very bad renter smoking in the car as well so just had a very bad experience okay so uh you know i just went and got the car uh as you can see right over here in the apartment complex that's where i picked it up from i came over here to kind of be safe you know so i didn't want to be close to him because you know i don't know if he had a gun on him or whatnot you know make sure i'm trying to you know safe uh, uh the police called me because they said they seen the uh my, my uh, car was on camera um they see my license plate number all my vehicles have a tony license plate so if you notice right here um like i said it says tony 2 for my camaro uh, this is my Dodge Durango SRT, and if you look at this car right here, my license plate it says Tony D. So pretty much all my vehicles have Tony on it in the URL plates. Uh, it's something that I do to make me stand out. Okay. So what happened was uh, this vehicle was uh, in the West End of Louisville last night, and somebody was shooting, and they seen this on the camera, and they see that I was a registered owner. So the police called me. Okay. And I told him what was going on, told him I have a car rental business, I'm the owner, but I was written the car out to somebody. And, you know, I gave him the, his information and stuff like that. Um, you know, I want to cooperate because I don't want to be you know, accomplished or nothing like that. So, uh, so pretty much that's what happened. So the customer also, um, the tar was flat. So you can see here, um, how to get this tar replaced. Uh, he said he replaced it. Um, I think actually this is probably the wrong side. 255 4520 and let me see 245 4020 yep so it's the wrong size start so you can see 245 4520 and this what's on here is 255 4520 so it's the wrong size tar on this vehicle so i'm about to get that changed out because the tar also got shot up it got flat um let me kind of uh show you guys what i mean because you sent me pictures and everything uh on uh turbo so let's kind of show you it said it was a two-day rental uh and go to messages and you can see he sent me pictures of the bullet hole um and of the tire that got hit and yeah so very upset very frustrated and then he had the nerve to hit me up and wanted a different vehicle wanted to like swap cars um so he tried to uh you know basically try to swap cars trying to bring his car in and get a different vehicle and i'm like no i'm not about to give me another car you know then you couldn't even return the car to me i had to come get it uh, which some people you know pay for delivery pay an extra fee i charge a hundred dollars for delivery and pickup but if you don't pay for delivery you're supposed to pick up the car at my shop and return it at my shop okay so uh you know claimed that he didn't want to return the vehicle so he didn't have a ride back which i'm not hearing that because you can either catch your uber or lyft you know back home i have somebody pick you up uh you can catch the bus home or walk home it's not you know that ain't, ain't my problem but you should have returned the car to my shop and he didn't i had to come get it okay and then like i said he put the wrong size tire on her uh car got shot up got these bullet holes on her so gotta get these bullet holes fixed as you can see again um has like three bullet holes so definitely he was doing something bad something i'm supposed to be doing and now i gotta take this to the shop to the body shop to get it fixed let me check out the inside let me see if the gas is full uh let's see here wow so the gas is full can't believe it so he actually filled the gas up the gas is full 
So that's something I, you know, well, the only, that's the only good thing was the gas is full. That's pretty much it. But yeah, wrong size car. So basically, uh, this will make this video. Just kind of show you guys, you know, it's just stuff that I deal with. Um, being a car rental business, you know, having that I have uh, 17 cars, I have over 1,800 trips, uh, a lot of trips, a lot of bookings, a lot of experiences, okay, good and bad, you know. Uh, so this is one of the, one of the bad. You know, this is probably the worst winner that I ever had. I would never rent to him again. Uh, and, you know, just glad I got the car back safe. Nobody was injured, nobody was hurt, nobody got killed. Uh, but it really sucks because, you know, now this car's have to go gonna be in the shop and I can't make no money. So it's gonna be down for a little while until I get it fixed. And I have to go get this tar replaced because he put the wrong size tar on her. You know, so that's why, so it's just, you know, one of the things that just kind of sucks. Wrong size tar. I remember, I know it didn't look right, but it looked so big compared to the other tar that's over here on this side. They put the wrong size tar on the bit. Yeah, so, uh, so this will make this video is to kind of show you guys, um, you know, what I did with every day. Um, like I said, this is probably the worst tour I've been I ever had. Uh, and I will never rent to him again. And I'm getting ready to go in here in a second and go ahead and give him a, a review and let Tyrell well know I got the vehicle back. Um, I went ahead and took pictures of everything. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So I pretty much took pictures of everything. Uh, when I got the car back, I went ahead and did like the checkout procedure and pretty much took pictures um, all the way around and showed like the damages, um, the bullet holes. And he already, he already actually reported the claim on his end. So he reported the claim already. Um, but yeah, these are the pictures that he took. So, you know, these are the pictures of, you know, the tire being uh, flat because it got shot as well. So yeah, so now I'm about to go ahead and I'm gonna give him a review. Uh, don't forget the one star. And I'm gonna go ahead and report the damages. I already reported the late fee. So this is the damage report right here. Uh, you know, let Tyrell know about the damages. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, like I said, let them know I got the vehicle back so that he can get charged uh, for the late fee. Uh, because you are allowed 30 minute grace period and it's been a couple of hours now. Um, so he didn't return the vehicle, so he will get charged a late fee. And also he's gonna get charged an improper return since we had to come recover the vehicle as well. Okay, and he's also gonna get charged for, you know, this tire and the uh, the car. They got, they got hit, you know, damaged, okay. So don't know how much it's gonna cost. I'm gonna have to take this to uh, my body shop and have them pretty much give the uh, estimate and try to get it fixed. Because I can't rent this car out until I get this fixed, you know? And then I also have to call the police to make sure the car is out under investigation. I want to get pulled over, rent my vehicle and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that everything is safe for all my future uh, renters. So this will make this video just to kind of show you guys what I deal with. Show you guys, you know, a bad experience that I had with a customer. Um, hopefully um, you guys don't deal with stuff like this. Um, hopefully I don't have another experience like this anytime soon. Um, so yeah, so day in the life of <laughs> being a car rental business owner. This is what I deal with every day. Well, not every day, but sometimes, you know, from renters, from customers. So uh, this will make this video to kind of share this experience with you guys. Like I said, I'm just glad everybody's safe. Nobody got injured, nobody got killed. Got the car back, but to go ahead and take it to my shop and uh, go ahead and go from there. So uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post content like this all the time. Uh, please like this video, share, hit that notification button. If you like content like this, I do post it all the time on my channel. Uh, also, I am doing one-on-one -on -one consultations and also I have a tour course as well. If you want me to teach you the game. Uh, you can also find me on all social media platforms, Tony Luxury Cars. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, I'm out. Peace, guys.